I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss what is the meaning of domestic wiring. Let's get started the topic. Domestic wiring refers to an electrical system installed within residential building, especially houses or apartments, to supply and distribute electricity safely and efficiently to various electrical appliances, then lighting points and the outlet. It is applicable for the residential building, especially like uh, apartment, houses, small buildings, etc. Such a way that the electricity should be distributed with uh, efficiently as well as without any risk. Moreover, it has to be distributed with respect to different type of loads. That's what exactly the meaning of domestic wiring. Uh, by looking at the definition, it is very clear that domestic wiring is a system of uh, electrical wires, of course, control devices such as switches, then uh, sockets where we are going to receive the power and uh, protective devices. It will ensure uh, equipment safety as well as personal safety used to distribute the electricity in the house for lighting appliances and other utilities. This is what exactly called domestic wiring. So I think it's very clear to everybody. So these are the simple definitions of domestic wiring. Whichever the definition is more appropriate, you can uh, choose. It is up to you. So what are the major components of domestic wiring? We have the following important components. Number one is called service connection. Of course, there are a servicing company. Like uh, if I talk about like a Karnataka, we have Bescom, Mescom, Hescom, just etc. If I talk about like a Kerala, then we have KSCB, Kerala State Electricity Board. So like that, there are so many uh, like a companies, distribution companies under the control of government. So we have uh, energy meter, then we have a distribution board, wires and cables, switches and socket, and earthing system. First of all, I would like to talk about the service connection. Definitely, uh, the service connection is a like a wire or a cable that connects between the electricity board to the home. There are two types of uh, service. One is called overhead service line. Other one is known as underground service connection. So underground service connections are majorly used, especially uh, the thickly populated area where there is no way uh, to take out the connection from the upper side. Okay, over uh, like the because fully congested area. Such cases we can go for like uh, underground service. If I go for the normal condition where we are living, especially villages and all, we can go for like overhead service line. It is pretty easy. Yes. Now let's talk about service connection. Uh, there is a connection as you can observe. So we have the, uh, like, uh, this is regarding uh, your KSCB. Till here, KSCB, Besco, Mesco, supplying company. From the supplying company, you are going to take, you are going to take the portion to where uh, the domestic building. We have the domestic building here. This is my co company side. So you are going to connect the line, correct? No, you are going to connect the, uh, there is a line between uh, the company segment with respect to the building. That particular segment is known as the service line. So it is a service connection that will interlink between uh, the supply company as well as or supply company to the house or to the domestic building. Second one is known as energy meter. Why energy meter is required? You already know about the tariff, right? The, the tariff is nothing but uh, the amount which the supply the supply company is providing the electricity charge. They are taking the amount or they are taking the bill, right? That is actually called a tariff. So, to understand the tariff, we have the meter, we have the energy meter. Everywhere there will be energy meter. Energy meter will be established by the supplying company. Uh, the It measures the entire tariff. How much amount of electricity is being consumed by the customers. That is what exactly we require energy meter. Next is called a distribution board. As you can see, there is a distribution board. The purpose is to distribute the power to various circuits, loads, MCBs and RCDs. That is the purpose of DB, distribution board. Uh, so we should go for like a panel wiring. Second one is called the wires and cable. Okay, wires. So wires are the conductors. Cable will provide the like uh, insulation part, cable. There are different type of cable like VAR cable, PVC cable, etc. Where uh, the wire is nothing but the conductor. All right. So other part is actually called the switches and sockets. These are the control devices. So switches mainly used for turn on and turn off the power supply. Whenever we want, we will turn on. For that purpose, we will be having switches. There are so many varieties of switches such as piano type switch, 
டூ வே சுவிட்ச் த்ரீ வே சுவிட்ச் டிபிஎஸ்டி எஸ்பிடிபி டிபிஎஸ்டி எக்ஸெட்ரா ஸோ யூ மைட் ஹவ் ஃபெமிலியர் அபவுட் தோஸ் சுவிட்சஸ் யூ கேன் ஹேவ் ஏ விசிட் இன் லைக் எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் ரூம் இன் யுவர் காலேஜ் ஓர் இன் யுவர் கேம்பஸ் யூ கேன் ஹேவ் ஏ அப்சர்வேஷன் த சாக்கெட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் வேர் யூஆர் கோயிங் டு ரிசீவ் த பவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் கோல்டு அர்த்திங் சிஸ்டம் டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் த லைக் பர்சன் தோஸ் ஆர் யூசிங் த எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி அகேன்ஸ்ட் த ஷாக் ஓகே டு இட்ஸ் ஏ ஹசாடு ப்ரிவெண்ட் த ப்ரிவெண்ட் த பர்சன் அகேன்ஸ்ட் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஷாக் தட் இஸ் வாட் வி ஹவ் அர்த்திங் டூ டைப் ஆஃப் அர்த்திங்ஸ் அவைலபிள் ஒன் இஸ் பைப் அர்த்திங் அதர் ஒன் இஸ் கோல்டு பிளைட் அர்த்திங் யூ கேன் ரெஃபர் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ டு கெட் இன் ஆ மோர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த இம்பார்ட்டன் காம்போனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் லைக் wiring system there are different type of wiring such as cleat wiring casing and caping wiring conduit wiring batten wiring so i'll be talking about the details of wiring system in the next uh, session so you can have a visit on my channel which i am going to publish on tomorrow in the coming day you can have a look on that i am going to share the link also so please check out once however let me summarize cleat wiring is mainly used for like a uh, temporary and uh, very Uh, time being set up wiring okay uh, i require a very construction is being taken place at that time i require the wire temporary so i'll be going for like a cleat wiring so we use cleats to hold the wires casing and cape wiring is made up of either wooden or plastic it is like a very less common nowadays because it is more expensive if i talk about the conduit wiring it is most popular so it is widely used today so we run uh, the wire through pvc or metal pipe batten wiring is mainly used for like uh, uh, in a old houses especially old palaces you can see it is uh, wires are mounted on the batten with the clips it is already obsolete so in this session i discussed about the meaning of wiring definition components of wire, domestic wiring two type of like a service connection one is overhead service line other one is under underground service line next is actually uh, we have the type of wiring that is a cleat wiring casing caping conduit wiring batten wiring etc those uh, types of some wiring i discussed so thank you for watching this video i request you to share this video for the stakeholders those who are working in this domain also if you please this video give a like also i request you to subscribe to get to know similar kind of video thanks for watching this video I wish you all the very best for your exam point of view. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you everyone.